Guys, look, I know this bike and I look pretty good, no matter what camera you want to point at us. <laughs> but today we are just focused on the GoPro Hero 10 Black on this side, and over here we have the DJI Osmo Action, the original Osmo Action, because as far as I'm concerned, the Action 2 is not an action camera at all, really. This comparison was requested by one of our subscribers, Scotty Belshaw. Thanks, mate. Uh, he actually helped contribute for us to get the GoPro so thanks for that as well buddy uh, it's been a while coming I know you requested this probably a few months ago now but um, been pretty busy but I finally got around to it hopefully he's still interested in, in the comparison between these two cameras this is not going to be a detailed in-depth analysis of the features and stuff of those of these two cameras because there's heaps of reviews and stuff like that out there today basically what I want to do is have a side-by-side -side shot from both cameras uh, from the helmet mount. Um, I'll show you the mount that I've set up for that uh, purpose. So basically just a, a, a very basic footage comparison in, in some different sort of situations. It's all well and good to go and look up on YouTube uh, sample footage from the DJI or the GoPro or whatever camera, but if you don't have exact same footage on the same day from the same angle, uh, it's pretty hard to sort of judge what you like better. So this here is the little rig I've made up. Got both cameras mounted to a chin mount on the helmet. So hopefully it's going to give us a good idea. We've got them set to the same angle. So we'll put up on the screen here the exact settings that I'm using for both cameras. Basically 1080-60 on both, so 60 frames a second, 1080p. GoPro is recording in flat. DJI is recording in normal. All the other settings I'll put up on the screen here for you so you can uh, refer to that. I will tell you what I think of both of these cameras uh, from my perspective being an adventure motorcycle rider slash vlogger and how both of these cameras pertain to what I do, uh, what I like about them and what I don't. Anyway, first things first, uh, we'll jump on the bike, get a bit of comparison footage, and I'll uh, discuss the two cameras as we go along. You'll have to excuse the cicada noise today, guys. It's uh, really bad. So it makes uh, trying to get good audio on a video a little bit difficult. Anyway, speaking of audio, all of the in-helmet audio today is going to be coming from the GoPro. I don't have another mic in the helmet at the moment to hook up to the DJI. Regular viewers of this channel will know already what I think of the Osmos audio. Essentially I think that the onboard mics, like the camera's inbuilt microphones, are pretty good. And if you ex hook up an external mic just for vlogging, uh, it's not too bad. It's actually picks up pretty good audio, but uh, in helmet, no go. You, yeah, you get a bit of bike noise, wind noise. It just blows out without going into too much detail you can get microphones like the drift mic that cut out a lot of the uh the noise and they're not so hot um as far as microphones go so they give you a less less of a volume and it's not so blown out with the wind noise and stuff you can also get a volume adjuster in line on your mic cord which helps also um with regards to the the color settings on these two cameras I find the GoPro's flat setting really isn't that flat it takes very little uh, color and saturation boost to bring it up to you know a nice level whereas if you switch on decine like with the Osmo Action it's a really flat profile uh, you've got to do quite a bit of tweaking to get it to look good um, I, I did record our last ride uh, using that flat profile it was decent like and I really wasn't happy with the results like if you know what you're doing when it comes to color grading advanced color grading then you know you, you probably be happy with that but as it stands I uh, I prefer just leaving it on the normal profile with the DJI and to be honest I add pretty much about the same amount of saturation and uh, contrast to that profile as what I do to the GoPro's flat profile. So, 
So yeah, the GoPro is flat and the DJI is normal profile, both pretty similar. Both a good quality uh, image. Now you will notice, okay, I have uh, stabilization turned on on both of these cameras, so rock steady on the uh, Osmo which gives you a fairly narrow field of view you'll notice that you can see a bit more of the the bike uh, on the gopro whereas the uh the osmo crops in a bit more i do much prefer the wider field of view for this uh type of work uh, let's not get bogged here Shit. <laughs> Did not want to get my boy dirty today. So much for that idea. That's really soft. <laughs> Shit. But I'll tell you one thing, I think that if the Osmo had decent audio, I would pick it over any other camera that's available at the moment, hands down. Um, Another small gripe with the uh, Osmo is when you're doing sort of, it doesn't really matter so much when you're doing this sort of video on, on the bike, but when you're sort of vlogging um, stationary, pointing the camera at yourself, sometimes the exposure goes in and out, it sort of pulses weirdly for, for no reason, so it's a bit of an, an annoyance. That's enough ragging on the Osmo, so what's wrong with the GoPro then? Well. Really, nothing. The GoPro is a freaking awesome camera. Except that it doesn't work half the time. <laughs> the reliability, it's the big problem with the GoPro. I have kind of found a bit of a fix, a bit of a workaround that I'm uh, still trialing at the moment, but uh, I will do a separate video on that uh, in the future. If only they could fix that bloody reliability, it'd be an awesome camera. And the battery life isn't real good either, but the Osmo is not great in the battery life department. Probably a bit better than the GoPro. So yeah, so we're just looking basically at the raw image quality. Try and do a little bit of dynamic range testing for you guys. It's not easy to do to replicate these um, situations where one camera might work better than the other. But uh, hopefully, here, like we've sort of got shadows here with brightness out there. Just wonder if probably I'd say the GoPro would be showing better detail here in the shadows, whereas the the Osmo would be quite dark here. Um, and it, Osmo's probably more blown out in the in the light over there. It's 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 one of those things that's kind of subjective, and it really varies depending on the situation you're in. You're in, but um, another thing I have noticed about the Osmo is it doesn't. The GoPro seems to have a, a more wider field of focus. So if you want to sort of film close up to things which nobody really does with an action camera, but uh, I find that the GoPro, you know, it'll focus on closer objects. And like, I'm about a foot away from that tree there. Um, hopefully it's showing the GoPro uh, is, you know, it has a lot more detail up close than the Osmo. But again, that's not really something that's going to bother you for this sort of riding, filming. Is either camera performing better than the other in that situation? But uh, just it's a nice sort of scene here. You'll be able to see the the quality of the details in the trees here. I'll, I'll crop in to 50%, or is it 200%? Anyway, I'll shrink it in just so you can get an idea of the quality. 
So again, this is only 1080p guys. Which is what I principally film in. So I'm recording this in the same settings that I do all my YouTube videos. Record in 1080, 60 frames a second. That allows me to slow it down to 50% speed if there's anything that needs slowing down. Um, and then I render it at 30 frames per second and 2.7K for YouTube. Come out here for a bit of a scenic view through these cameras. So there you have it. Do you prefer the look of one over the other? When it comes to image quality guys, and, and I'm no expert at this stuff, far from it. But from my perceptions, uh, I'm pretty happy with the quality of the footage from both of these cameras. You know, if, if the Osmo had slightly wider field of view and decent audio, it would be a killer camera. Killer. It's got all the features of the GoPro pretty much. I mean, the GoPro's got 5.3K and higher frame rates and shit like that, but at the end of the day, you know, I don't think most people use that stuff. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I know I don't. But you know, it has time lapse and, and hyper lapse and you know, all that stuff. Rear, rear screen as well as a front screen. I'll get one last bit of uh, footage, guys, and uh, that'll be it for this video. Trying to find my way out of here. So yeah, hopefully as you can see, both of these have really good stabilisation. Image quality is really good. Whoa! <laughs> so after what you've seen today, do you have a preference? Do you like either one of these cameras better than the other? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> I swear some of these uh, bulldozer drivers <laughs> make them uh, make these uh, erosion mounds, especially just for the dirt bike riders. <laughs> they don't need to be that freaking big and steep. <laughs> awesome. A bit scary on a big heavy twin cylinder, but be good fun for the little bikes. Well, hey guys, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Hope this video wasn't too long and boring. Uh, if you've got any questions about any of these cameras, um, hopefully I can answer them. Leave, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.